Hello, boys and girls. I want to read a couple of stories from this collection, Pete the Cat, from an I Can Read series. We'll begin with Pete's big lunch. You cannot even begin to imagine what he makes for lunch. Pete the Cat, Pete's big lunch. He's got that watch on and it's time for lunch. Lunch, here comes Pete. It is lunchtime. Pete is ready to eat. Have you ever seen a clock, a watch on a cat? <laughs> it is noon and Pete is hungry. What should Pete eat? A sandwich would be nice. Look at Pete, he's thinking about a sandwich. Watch what happens. Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. Pete opens the fridge. Look inside of Pete's fridge. Can you guess what he's going to pull out to use for his sandwich? Let's turn the page and find out if what you guessed is right. He takes out a loaf of bread. He finds a yummy fish. He adds tomato and mayo. Look at Pete. What he found in his fridge, a fish, a loaf of bread, a tomato, and mayonnaise. So he begins to make a sandwich. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is too small. Something is missing. Pete knows what it needs. His sandwich needs an apple. Pete loves apples. Look at this, boys and girls. What a funny cat. He's adding an apple to his sandwich on top of the tomato. His sandwich needs crackers. Crackers are crunchy. Pete loves crunchy crackers. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It is still too small. Look at this, boys and girls. <laughs> so funny. He's putting crackers all over his sandwich, and it's yet way too small for Pete. Pete is very, very hungry. So he goes back to that refrigerator. Pete adds a pickle. Pete adds cheese. Pete adds an egg, two hot dogs, a banana, and a can of beans. Look at this, all those different things. This should fill Pete up for sure. Something is missing. What could be missing? Pete adds ice cream. He takes three huge scoops. Look at this, boys and girls. Here is his enormous sandwich. And on top of it all goes three scoops of ice cream. <laughs> Pete's sandwich is too big. It's too big for Pete to eat. Pete wonders what to do. Pete thinks and thinks. So here he is with his enormous sandwich. And now it's, he's made it so big, he can't even eat it by himself. I've got it, Pete says. He calls all of his friends and he asks them to come over. Look at that silly cat. He calls one, two, three, four, five, six friends. Everyone goes to Pete's house. They are all very hungry. Look how fun. They're coming to help Pete. And you see the sandwich in the window? <laughs> Pete shows them his big lunch. Are you hungry, asks Pete. Pete. Pete's sandwich is big enough for everyone. Dig in, says Pete. So look, all the friends sit down and they eat and share this enormous sandwich that Pete made for himself. <laughs> Complete with ice cream. Pete's sandwich is good. Pete's sandwich is very good. Look, they're all happily eating away at the sandwich. Pete's sandwich is all gone. 
Pete's friends are full. They liked Pete's big lunch. Thanks for lunch, Pete's friends say. Thanks so much for sharing with us. You're welcome, Pete says. Sharing is cool. And that is the end of the story. Um, Pete's, what's the name of the story, boys and girls? Pete's Big Lunch. Thanks for listening. I hope um, to have you back soon to hear another one of Pete the Cat's stories. Bye-bye.